Good afternoon again. Right, part four, same day, no judging, same clothes. <laughs> okay, so hopefully by now you've had a good play. Uh, you've done your doodles, you've done some practice, um, you've had a go on the fabric and I still haven't stitched the butterfly on because I've been talking to my daughter. Um, you've done the butter, you know, you've, you've had a go at felt shapes. They're lovely. I love doing felt shapes on um, the applique. It's it's really nice. Organza's lovely as well. I'll show you some pieces that I've done and I'll talk you through how I've done them. So these are all framed up ready. So um, a piece of um, um, vintage lace here appliqued fabric onto to make it like a jar and then the free motion embroidery is the flowers i'll bring it in close you can see this is printed fabric that i've just in um free motion down and you know made them into little flowers these are little bits of felt but here you can just see where the fabric can you just see where you know it goes a bit bumpy and there's nothing you I, I couldn't do anything with that it wouldn't iron out at all but it, it's fine it wasn't bad enough that i wanted to ditch the work so um that's one piece um this is one it's a lot more heavily done uh, it's a bit of a seascape this one and it's layers of fabric and the background is um baby wipes whenever I do inks play with inks and stuff I clean up with baby wipes and let them dry and you tear those I don't know if you can see uh, you tear them this is actually um, layers of lace and stuff it's not bumps um, but yeah you, you uh, organza strips of organza strips of the baby wipes and in different colors obviously and then I free motion embroidered the flowers on just in a green thread uh, well sort of leafy weedy type things and then that lovely pebble stitched down the bottom here to sort of represent rocks at the seaside okay and that's all just you know it's just layers layers and layers of fabric um let me talk you through this one it's another big one okay that's like a pot of tulips sorry they've got cellophane on them because they're you know up for sale basically um yeah so a flower pot again made out of fabric free motion embroidered here made like brickwork here again it's layers of um uh, it's a stuff called misty fuse it's like a very light bond web type stuff um which means you can get you know loads of loads of layers of fabric underneath put the misty fuse on and then do a final layer of organza over the top and it gives you that sort of really nice sort of smoky background I'll try and get the shine off of it sorry i don't want to unwrap them and then um, the tulips are done with, um, it's organza, just cut into a very simple oval. And then you just free motion embroider over it. Get it there and it, hopefully it's not too shiny. Okay, and you can see the layers of fabric in the background here. They were done first, then the misty fuse on top, then the organza. And then I've all um, embroidered on top of the organza. So that's that one. Um, this is a very simple one. And you can probably tell okay it's just vintage fabrics um i think uh, i think it's just a sprayed and stamped background onto fabric and then you know these are very simply done um yeah just straight stitch basically you know nothing nothing hard there um this is a um i tried to copy this bog what's it called bog asphodel it's a local plant to uh, the U, uh, devon basically and that's my interpretation of it again it's layered fabric background misty fuse and then fabric and then machine embroidered on top of the fabrics okay i think i almost got it yeah that's that one and then whoop gosh hang on i've got an avalanche going on and then um these two uh my friend has bought these actually so um but these are chickens um i think the background fabric was a piece of i don't know i don't know where i got it from but it's kind of like a a pre pre-decorated sort of i don't know what you'd call it really 
I don't know. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's just like a piece of fabric I picked up at the Exeter Craft Show, the big one that I go to. And then it's um, it's gel printed fabric in the background. I uh, did a little birdie nest there. And that's the chicken. And that's just um, simply appliqued on and then free motioned around. And obviously did the wattle and everything. So just a bit of stem stitch there. And then the bigger version. Again, she wants to pair so um oh, yeah that's the mummy and daddy well it's not actually is it because the yeah anyway two chickens with their wattles and again a, a gel printed paper at the background here uh paper fabric what was it yeah yeah okay so that's the kind of things you can do really it's it's all down to you i mean there are so many people that have got like the professionals that do this that have got um, things on youtube just um in the search bar of youtube put in free motion embroidery and you'll get loads come up i've got various books um bear with me sorry talk about yourselves right, should have got this done first sorry okay i've got various books um this is one here, uh, machine embroidery, Pam Watts, and she does very sort of structural stuff like this, which is, you know, it's fine. Um, she also in, embraces the fact that you've got to doodle, you've got to play with stitch lengths and stuff like that. Uh, some of your decorative stitches can look really good. Um, free motion as well. Zigzag is really good if you put that on free motion for filling in. Um, there was a bit here I was going to show you. Um, I don't know if I'm breaking copyright here, so I won't show you too much. Um, again, you know, printed, outlined. Okay, so th there's loads of books out there, bear with me. Uh, there's another one here that I got, which is, but this lady does everything, everything, free motion. Um, and it's a very good book because she takes you through doing the backgrounds and all that kind of stuff. I don't want to show too much, sorry. Um, and that's uh, Machine Embroidered Flowers by... Alison Holt. Beautiful book. It's just, you know, lovely to look at. Um, I've also got some on um, more using mixed media stuff with free motion embroidery. Okay, and that's another one. That's, um, oh, that's a funny word. Alison Miglo, Miglo Marsden. Okay, and it's called Stitch, Fibre, Metal and Mixed Media. Okay, fascinating, actually. Some of the stuff she does is fascinating. But a lot of it is the mixed media alternative stuff, which is fabulous. But um, I tend to do stuff that I can put in a frame and, and sell. Another one that I've recently picked up is by Wendy Dolan. I think she's, she's a UK lady. Uh, Layer, Paint and Stitch. Again, a fantastic book. Takes you through uh, gel, um, silk painting your backgrounds. Uh, and I mean, she does. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's phenomenal. It really is beautiful stuff. Um, I think she has. Oh, has she? I can't remember if she's got some videos on. Um, but I know you can buy. I think this is the lady that does a DVD that actually takes you through it also. But I mean, her work is just to die for. So I'm, you know. I'd love to be that level. I'm not yet. So, um, and that's years later. And another one is um, Raising the Surface by Maggie Gray. Love this book. I love Maggie Gray. I think she's so alternative, but but but, but achievable. You know, it's not it's not um, it's not out of the realms of possibilities. But she again does a lot of mixed media stuff with puffy paints and um, stuff like that. And it's just you know, this book is. You just drool over it, you know, and cutting out once you've done the free motion, that kind of stuff. So, you know, look around. There is so many um, free motion embroidery people out there. Um, I just love it just for the freedom that it gives you to be able to stitch, make, you know, just just outline things. Do whatever you want with it, really. It is so versatile. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that uh, I've done to hand uh no no i don't think there is anything else to hand so that's a really short one it's just to give you the inspiration to have a go um 
you know, if if it's a complete disaster, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. And save your tumbled, well, not tumbled dry sheets, they're baby wipes. But, you know, that ripped up, some stitches on it, bit of organza on top if you want to. You haven't got to. Um, yeah, I just, you know, this kind of stuff just inspires the heck out of me. So, um, yeah, give it a go. See how you get on. You, I've, I've said it before and I'm going to say it again it is all about practice you will not be good the first time you do it unless you are exceptional um, I certainly wasn't it was rubbish my first couple of attempts but I kept going and I just kept going and going and going and I read a lot of books I watched a lot of DVDs and videos and things like that and um, you know I've progressed to the point where I feel I'm quite competent at it um, I think anyway I don't know. So this is a short one. It's just to give you some inspiration to, you know, give it a go. As I say, I'll just quickly run you through these. So you can make a chicken. And you can do two chickens. This is where it all falls down again. Um, you can, you know, you can heavily machine embroider. Or not. That's just fabric, as I say. Um yeah it, it's it really is it can be whatever you want it to be so again another piece heavily embroidered layered um yeah i think that's about it actually um certainly play with different fabrics as i say this one i really enjoyed making this one um i'm just trying to remember it was it was definitely the tumble dryer shit or the um baby wipes but there's like a fabric on there and I think that might have been a bit of muslin that I dyed looking at it. It gives it this sort of like the breaking waves and the and the lumps and the bumps here. So, you know, just play around with stuff. As I say, there's so many artists out there that do it that, you know, um, I'm just trying to think. There was one particular lady and I can't remember her name. But anyway, there is loads. So have a look and um, I hope you enjoy it. Please let me know if there's anything else you want to know. Um... I say I, I read the comments every comment that comes in I read it um so yeah just let me know if there's anything particularly you want to do if you want me to show you how to make those boxes these not a problem can show you that um just trying to think oh this is uh this is a bit of free motion embroidery as well and that is just um felt squares again or fabric yeah uh, no, it's fabric trapped under organza, actually. But yeah, free motion embroidery, a bit of uh, netting and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So, sky's the limit, I'll be honest with you. It really is. So, have a go. Let me know if there's anything you want to know. And um, yeah, I'll catch you on the next video. All right. Thank you. Bye.